Hello, people. I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Kiana Madani Hi. and Achara Kirk. Hello. We're going to look at sanitary pads in school. Stand up comedy by Sorab Pant. Pant. Sorab Pant. That's so weird. Sorab Pant. Super Pant. Sorab Pant. Sorab Pant. Sorab. Yeah. I will say all the versions of his name. Sorab Pant. <laughs> Twenty-four thousand upvotes, one point nine thousand downvotes, mm -hmm. which means that the majority of the people who watch this think it's awesome. Uh, how many people know who I am? How many people are here with their friends and have no idea? <laughs> well done, thank you. Two people have no clue. They're like, "Who is this? I don't understand." So your friends dragged you, and who do? And what is your expectation? This guy dragged you. See, I owe you money. Uh, so he's the only fan. So right, you know what happens every time you bring, uh, like as a friend, you bring your friends for any event. Throughout the event, you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling. Yeah. Bola tana man. Uh, no, so for those of you who don't know who I am, like you, so what's your name, sir? Bhavin. Bhavin, what do you do? I have the line to his. You stay in Baroda. That's what you do permanently. <laughs> you like staying in Baroda is so much work. That's my job. I just stay. <laughs> I exist. You have a chemical factory. What do you chemical make? What do you make? Powder coating. Powder coating? For what? To coat the powder. I hate it. Cocaine banata hai kya? Tu kya bol raha hai? And Baroda is one place which needs it, by the way. <laughs> They're like, Dairu nahi hai, mere paas powder coating hai chahiye. <laughs> this is my job. Uh, but let, let, let's, let's get serious for a second, man. Uh, I discovered these uh, facts which really uh, pissed the hell out of me. Uh, the fact is this, that 23% uh, of Indian girls, when they hit the seventh standard, drop out of school. Wow. And the reason this happens is that most of them can't afford uh, the correct sanitary pad. Uh, uh, they can't afford any of this stuff. And that's, that's messed up, dude. That's messed up. Because the thing is that we don't under realize that during that puberty time, when you hit puberty, like women go through far more than men do. Like our, our men's puberty is chilled. <laughs> Our puberty is like, what's my voice? Who is my voice? Who is my voice? Who am I? 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 I mean, that never happened to me, but... That's just been his voice since he was born. I look like Kambli and sound like Sachin. I know. I don't know who Kambli is. I don't know. No, but it's messed up, man. So, so many of these girls can't afford uh, the, the necessary things to, to be able to deal with this. And so what they have to do is they have to use old rags. Oh. They have to use, uh, some of them use wood shavings, some of them use ash. Oh That's my messed God. up. That's crazy. Dude, like if England versus Australia test series ever happened in India. <laughs> I don't know where this joke what, is What does that mean? Well, I, I feel like cricket. he's comparing England and Australia, so it seemed like it was a more, diss. Right? Like, like, because okay. when you become a woman, you, you basically bleed, and that's a normal, natural thing. It's okay, right? Men, when we become men, boys, when we become men, right? We are not like, like, like some girls are made to feel insecure because they don't have the provisions. Men are not. We land away like, what is it? I have done it. I have done it. I have done it. I have done it. I did it. I'm a self-sustaining organism. I did it myself. <laughs> and again, the reason the reason why we uh, uh, why this situation is so messed up is that uh, Indian ads always tend to send out the wrong message about this stuff, right? Like sanitary pad ads are messed up. The, none of them. They always exaggerate the thing to points where it's like completely inconceivable, right? Like every single sanitary pad in India is the same. It's like pehle <laughs> methi. I need to see these ads. Badi sabdhan. Meri zindagi taba ho gayi thi. Main kekda ban gayi thi. Fir maine apne STF. Yeah, motherfucker, STF. That's pretty 
pretty much every yeah. sanitary pad oh. I have. Mm -hmm. I'm like, relax, it's an important thing, but it's not like it's got cocaine going straight into your bloodstream. <laughs> it's the feeling. Baroda guy. <laughs> the, it's the freedom. He's so gonna go and try this at a medical store. <laughs> like, excuse me, bhai sir, give me one whisper. <laughs> <laughs> Saras! He's funny. That he uses his platform to bring attention to that. Yeah, that's really awesome. That is that is really and cool. And he's really funny. He does it in a way which makes it really accessible as well. And and obviously that's because of the comedy too. That last bit at the end where it was like, and and it's even the same here. I think where you know like things like. I don't know what Sindoor is, but like Bengals and Bindis, there's zero percent GST, which which looks like maybe it's VAT or tax, but they tax twelve percent on sanitary napkins, which are an essential for mm -hmm. women. You know, mm -hmm. like this this is something that's essential, whereas you know, a, the jewelry isn't. Yeah, you could just put your hand down there. Just, just walk around like that. Yeah, it's like, uh, excuse me. Well, it's like that just, in America that as well. Of the month. Yeah, it's Sorry. the same here, right? Like, it's, it's it just looks like you have to go to the bathroom all the time, that's all. Yeah. The average woman spends $37,000 on sanitary um, napkins in their lifetime. There was a website wow. that calculates, like, how, like, from when you got your period to, you know. Yeah. Because you're buying the Menopause. good shit. You just got to get a you're towel, right? You just got to wash that towel over and over again. That's like <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can. But, yeah. no, it's a, I mean, it's a really good point yeah. about that. They like, did address this in Padman as well. But, you know, girls are dropping out of school because they can't. You'd love yeah. Padman. Yeah, you should watch Who's Padman? You, that's a movie. You'd love that. It's about a dude who uh, goes on an adventure to try to... Uh, make affordable sanitary pads for women in rural areas and he teaches them how to do it themselves yeah oh um, wow that's his journey so it's, it's based on a true story that's incredible yeah. yeah that was good he's very funny <laughs> he's super funny i like sorab pant and that was a good callback as well with the in the beginning with, with the, the dude? with the dude from baroda <laughs> also good comedians do <laughs> yeah I, I, I was a i was a, a, a victim of that once oh really <laughs> oh, you were <laughs> not a victim but like i i mean i use that word lightly there, there was a, a comedian a hoppo comedian who um was like i don't know what happened but he's a, he asked if any half asians were in the audience and i raised my hand and he he called back my name at one point to i forget i don't i'm not gonna it was steve burns is the guy you know who steve burns is he's no. a, he's out he had a show on tv at one point but good comedians always find a way to bring back the yeah the, the person that they called on earlier so that's cool yeah i like what he's doing i like his i like his energy mm -hmm. in the stand up a lot of energy i like that he makes fun of himself too that self uh deprecating humor yeah that thing with the uh sanitary napkin ads i feel like that's just true across the board everywhere mm -hmm. because it's like how are you supposed to sell a product for the time of the month which is like it's how do you glorify that because you're basically just bleeding for a week or whatever you know and it's like oh yeah we'll just do the thing where you know everything's all dark and gloomy and you're like oh i can't live my life and then it's like yay the pad or the tampon or whatever hurrah flowers and yeah. God, happiness and joy well what would you prefer would you prefer just like a very sterile ad of like buy this one it's cheaper like <laughs> <laughs> maybe are, are ads for this really necessary because it's kind of something that just happens people are gonna have to buy it either way well it's right? about it's about buying trust that's what you're True. doing you're buying you're buying the trust of your of the consumer going you should get you know our thing versus up and up mm -hmm. from target yeah, yeah. because our thing is trusted it's like a more and i i fall victim to that all the time where i'm like i'd rather get the prescription brand uh right. instead of the generic brand right. because it's just more trustworthy and i don't know i haven't tried generic brand advil or whatever it is, um, painkillers. Same, same. But uh, yeah. it's supposedly all the same. Shit. Yeah, I don't know. it's the same. You know, it's the same. Shit. Off brand Coke is not the same as Coke, man. That it's is true. Like Shasta <laughs> is not Coke. No, it's not. <laughs> so, not Coke. The thing at the beginning, I love that he that he that he brought attention to that, where he's like, "You, how many people brought their friends here?" Because the whole time you're just like, "Yeah, yeah, I told you." Like, yeah. That I know that feeling. It's very relatable. How did you guys feel about what he was saying about men and like their? Coming into manhood, men, you know. Well, I mean, I can't speak for men because I'm not one. Mm -hmm. But 
A comparison. Got, he was drawing a comparison between yeah. the two, saying, you know, what women go through versus what men go through. Well, I guess there's just some things that are more visible for women that may not be as much Right. That's, that's the fundamental difference, yeah. I think, is that men are not taught to be in touch with their emotional side, right, and express their feelings uh, or, you know, identify it quite as easily as women are allowed to. And so when they're going through changes, it's just like, it's it's not on the surface. It's all internal. Yeah. Right. For for men. For, for, men, for both men and women, right. but like men are going through it also. But like it's it's kind of hilarious on the outside because you can't see it. So what you can see is blood. Yeah. So. No, and boobs. Yeah. And hips. But the mood swings of teenage boys is so intense, and they they don't know how to deal with it. Yeah. Like sometimes you ever get into a. Growing up, I don't. I'm about to put my brother to, on blast right oh, now. I, feel I was so like, Ke- you know, I was like, Kiana, just, Kiana has a lot of experience with teenage boys. I'm no, not no, sure where this no, is no, coming no, from. No, I don't, I don't <laughs> want to put my brother on blast, but you know, my brother is is seven years younger than me, and you know, sometimes when he was going through puberty, it's just, he'd get these intense emotions, or he'd like, you know, burst into tears. And I feel like men don't, they don't want to express themselves, or they feel embarrassed to express themselves. That like he would get embarrassed if he was like angry or sad, you know. And and mm. it's so intense during puberty. Yeah, and women as well, of yeah. course, but. I, yeah. I think men don't want to show it as much. I'm still crying yeah, from that puberty. Is... <laughs> <laughs> and that's like a societal yeah. thing, though. The boys don't cry, I yeah. think. So. Yeah. Boys should cry. Just let it all out. Isn't there a movie called Boys Don't yes. Cry? Yeah. It's the one with Hilary Swank. A trans boy. That's right. Yeah. It's a very good movie. On that note, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. <laughs> Do be sure to check out uh, Keanu Madani and Achara Kirk. They're on the social media. They both... Use sanitary pads on the regular. Yes. That was weird. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> even, even when it's not needed. They just, oh, yeah, know. we love, we love, yeah. It's just, it's just, com- it's just, it's just comfy. Yeah. It's like, it's like a, it's like a plastic. time, cuts out the need for the toilet. Yeah. You know? It's like yeah. a plastic bag in your wallet. It's just, I don't know why I said that. You guys, okay. thanks so much for hanging out with us. <laughs> check, out our, <laughs> check out our other reactions, reviews, and short films. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Kiana Madani. And Achara Kirk. Peace out.